right people so doing a very overdue video today rs6 performance i haven't actually driven any rs6 before i know it's a bit strange being a bit of an audi fanboy but yeah two years i've been in the channel and they've kind of i haven't really covered the rs6 at all to be honest there's a bit of a missing link there we are finally doing it today this particular car has been provided to me by um, pinnacle luxury car hire so if you do want to hire it out they do have it available so this exact car but yeah what we're going to do we are going to take this thing for a drive I'm kind of doing the walk around in reverse. I've actually already driven it, but the walk around bit is kind of fundamental to my videos. So I'm going to show you guys the spec on this particular one. We'll give it a few revs as well. And yeah, we'll head out on the road on my usual sort of country route. I'm at the car park right now. It's actually dark outside because like I said, I've already filmed that. But yeah, you guys can pretend it's happening after this. But yeah, let's get started. Right, because we're already inside, might as well begin with the interior. It's nice and cozy in here, so... I'll show you guys the outside in a second. So like I said, this particular one is an RS6 performance. Now the performance does get a few extra little touches inside as well. Now, one of the main highlights of that is you get a drive select button here. So you can select whatever dynamic, individual, comfort, auto. This is the only one I'm interested in anyway. We've also got these lovely seats down the RS6 with the uh, honeycomb pattern. Sort of reflects the like grill on the car. But the one thing with the performance is you can get alcantara with blue stitching now this particular car has just full black leather seats so it's probably been an option they didn't go for but it's all blacked out it's got a black headliner as well it's also got a full sliding panoramic roof to be honest this is kind of essential on a car like this because it's got such a big roof you want to have a lot of light in the cabin same honeycomb pattern at the back the start start button here automatic box eight speed zf transmission i've driven it so i can say this thing performs perfectly well not at any moment did i feel like i needed a dct got the electronic parking brake as well and the previous gen mmi if you have a look now go back to here it's still perfectly fine for all your usage i mean the rest of the car is just lovely you got leather everywhere it's on the door handles as well carbon fiber trim rs door handles as well that's another thing to note with a lot of rs cars they have these kind of like cut out door handles on the a3 anyway it's only the rs that gets it um, and you got this all wrap around kind of thing going on and also you got head-up display it's a very clear head-up display i don't know if you can see on camera but it is very nice um the rest of it is as you would expect an to be very solid feeling flat bomb steering wheel full perforated leather and you got these paddles here as well yeah this cabin has been around for many years like i said but yeah still nothing to take away from it all the leather the carbon plastics everything's just really high quality you feel like you're in an expensive car like this is a 90 hundred thousand pound car new so it's above your like a3s and your 3 series and stuff like that all right car park so this one's got both you can get upgraded bang on the lufts and sound system as the car's bonging at me right so rs6 performance hopefully it's not too much noise here but it literally is a massive car like it doesn't even fit anywhere i know we'll park like a bmw driver there's my car there but there it is proper machine this one is a performance like i said so you get a bit more power another thing to identify with the performance you get this matte titanium finish around there you get it on the mirrors as well you get these unique alloys too move around the front you've got the matrix led headlights these are standard on any rs6 even the regular one and um, as long as you got the facelift cars finished it black as you can see got the full panoramic roof you'll open that in a second and you got these roof rails but it's just a massive car you have to stand a bit back to get it in frame I mean, here's my car it's really short but yeah we ain't gonna focus on that it's an audi video these wheels you can get them in a few different finishes you can get like black gloss black inlays they're kind of like two different wheels in one red brake calipers as well um, you can get ceramic brakes as an option there's a few different packages with these as well you can get a dynamic package and then dynamic package plus or something like that so you can really spec them really highly for the spoiler on the back here and you got the uh, sports exhaust standard on the performance variant uh, that is an optional extra on the regular rs6 if you can call the rs6 regular um, in terms of power differences there is about 40 horsepower difference let's open up the engine bay we'll definitely get some revs in as well rs6 illuminated plate you know what i like it actually says rs6 on the seats now the new gen audis they just say rs and they say s they're very um it's like they're cost saving
so that's the engine there four litre twin turbo v8 it's like a hot v configuration 605 ps or 597 bhp whichever way you want to put it you also get an overboost function with the performance so that pushes the sort of torque up to 553 on overboost but either way it's a lot of power definitely not lacking for it in any way all the note 6 you know that stuff you can check anyway i don't really like to bore you guys with too much stuff you can read online anyway so beast of an engine hardly any lag and yeah all right so let's just make sure it's in dynamic Ah, oh, the valve's closed then i'm gonna get some revs in that's the valves there windows down you can hear us like inside because we've already done the video in reverse like i mentioned i've already had experience with this thing on the road uh, so i do know how it sounds it's a very refined car when the um windows are up but when you got the whole thing all open you can definitely hear a lot dynamic yeah a lot of overrun on this thing <laughs> Echoes a lot in this car park, man. Hopefully, you don't get kicked out of here. Yeah, that noise is something else man you know you can't beat big displacement engines or having a v8 trust me you can have as much power as you want a smaller engine but the sound and like it feels like you're driving like a factory i'm kind of like giving you sort of hints of how it drives like before we've actually gone for a drive but because i've already done the driving bit earlier i'm kind of just still thinking about that it is a lot larger in here though so it must be a lot of fun in the inner sort of city environment what we are going to do now is we are going to switch to the driving portion of the video uh, that was the sound and a little walk around of the car give you guys a sort of brief idea of the spec on this particular one uh, i told you all the sort of boring facts now anyway so yeah what we'll do we'll get out on the road it's like literally like you're driving like a factory or something the way that thing pulls it's a sound as well The thing is the car is quite agile as well, it's more agile than what you'd think. I'll try with a little S-bend. Normally take little hot hatches around here. This is a big old bus. And you can't really feel it behind the wheel, I'm not gonna lie, it just goes around. Now, nah, absolute weapon of a car. <laughs> RS6 is an RS6 man, you can't do anything about it man. See I've been doing a couple of Japanese cars lately. I mean people do tend to comment like saying do more Japanese cars. But when I do them, there's like a very limited audience compared to like say driving an RS car, stuff like that. So we are gonna stick to the German cars mostly from now on. I'd have gone a couple of them just to give you guys an idea of what I think about those Japanese cars, but yeah, when I get in a black RS Audi or I have any colour, it doesn't really matter, you just feel like I'm at home. It's definitely loud, but it's not like overly loud, you know, standard. I mean, this thing has a Sport 6 or standard because it's the performance variant, but... You can tell this car is like more of a... Um, designed for someone who's like a, a bit more made you could say it's not like a lad's car there we get some overrun now it's a lot of wind mark it back to second you can hear that there yeah that is more power than you'll ever need the thing is it is a bit detached you could say because it's like you're sitting in such a nice interior like you got these lovely bucket style seats all this comfortable interior i know this interior has been around for quite a few years but it's still very nice they got carbon fiber trim everywhere but yeah the specification on this one is exactly how, how i do an rs6 i love black cars and just i like the sort of contrast of having a bit of silver the one key difference with one of these as opposed to say something like a, a smaller rs like an rs3 is you get proper quattro in this by proper quattro i mean you got a sport diff at the back and 
it's not a Haldex basically so the car is quite tail happy if you want it to be uh, you can also add power mid bend and you can feel the rear bias the RS4 has this style quattro as well torsen based so when I get on the power I can feel it squatting around differently to how I'd say an RS3 would feel like um, but there on the power this is a slightly damp road you can feel it from the back more than say it dragging from the front if you want more power you can always map it if you're brave and uh, I think you get mid 700s for month but there are some people claiming they can get 800 but I think the stock turbos max out around mid 700s I believe I don't know how true those 800 horsepower cars are that's just violent speed to be fair violent speed a very agile car you know the strange is like detachable so agile I don't it's kind of hard to explain you know over a video but like that quarter back there you just add power and it keeps tugging around there's no push at all I'm having to back off because it's got so much power to be fair because the next thing you know you'll be doing like speeds that you uh, can't be showing on the internet basically this is what I mean about the agility like the way this car is just dealing with all these cambers and like from here like behind the wheel it does you can't feel the rest of the car like you know in terms of this massive estate shape behind you yeah it's a bit wide but you already know that when another car is coming and just said jilly on the wheel like this is <laughs> hit the rev limiter it lets you hit the rev limiter which is a good thing leaves you in control It's a different kind of speed. It's a different kind of speed. You know what's interesting with these, yeah? When you hear them in real life, or you say you jump in the driving seat, you can hear like a whirring noise, you know, when you accelerate. I've never heard that on any RS6 video, but I'll try and show you once we get past this little blind turn here. Yeah, that's a little over right now. Yeah, it's like a sweet spot, isn't it? Just over 3K. Very similar to how the E63 did it to be fair. Just keep tapping around 3000. That car is very different though. That drove like a rear wheel drive car um, and it slid around. Standard sports exhaust does sound good though. It's not over the top, but with the windows up, you can't really hear much. Oh. Little bridge here. It's a thunderous noise. Definitely on Quattro roads right now, but <laughs> I mean, this road I normally use it for um, you know, when I drive something like a Cooper or something like that. But this is a big old car, yeah, and it's doing all right. Probably got more power than you need, but that's not something to complain about. <laughs> Luckily, the brakes are good, um, otherwise, it's quite. A big car to chuck around these roads. It's gotta be a bit cautious. You never know when a tractor might be coming around. Luckily, I'm used to them though. What a power plant. Weirdly enough, it can be quite civilized as well. You don't use driving around. I've left it in dynamic mode because we ain't got time for comfort mode. I mean, this channel's mostly about performance. If you want to know about boot space, there's plenty of channels to look at, but it's a big car, practical, but can be civilized it's in dynamic mode and it's still if you don't if you're not on it it doesn't make too much noise but yeah the looks of this thing you know because it's so wide and the arches and the big alloys i'm pretty sure they're 21 inch yeah it's like it's not really incognito car you know if you drive it around it does turn heads the rs6 is one of the best looking audis on sale but I'd even go as far as to say, I know this is going to sound quite like, you know, biased or like, oh, you're an Audi fanboy. You know? I'd go as far as to say, in terms of cars on sale, like you can't really get much better than this. Because, you know, if you want something that does everything, you know, at a certain price level, because this is genuine supercar performance. 
you've got all the practicality you've got looks you've got sound the tech is still perfectly fine still as well even in 2019 yeah okay it's not got like some of the newer audi bits like the virtual cockpit and stuff like that but then you've got to remember this shape a6 came out in what was it like 2011 or something like that it's been a while so the new rs6 is due that is going to change the game i'm pretty sure of it now having driven this and it's still being so good even yeah they're gonna sound even being like this good after having driven say the new e63 which is the latest crop of super saloons yeah the new one's gonna be something my only complaint so far yeah it's gonna sound strange is that the road finishes too quick because it's so fast that's literally my only complaint like that i'm running out of road <laughs> There's no way a car should pull out of a junction like that, do you know what I mean? Right people, so I think that was a good feel for the RS6. It is getting a bit dark now, so these GoPros don't tend to work very well when there's no light. But yeah, I know it's been a long overdue video. Hope you guys enjoyed it anyway. Make sure to give the video a thumbs up if you did. Also, make sure to check out Pinnacle Luxury Cars as well. Uh, they're the ones who supplied me with this car today to have a go in. Absolute beast of a car. Uh, I can finally take you off and said we've done a video on it. Also being an Audi fanboy as well, yeah. I know I drive an M car, but it's kind of just, it needed to be done basically. And uh, my main sort of takeaway points from the video are, it's very agile for the size, and yeah, the power is just rude, man. But yeah, guys, anyway, uh, enough of that rambling. I'll see you in the next video.